Okay, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set up basic configuration to integrate Maximo and ArcGIS S3. Here I have Maximo uh, demo version 7.7.6. Now I will log in with Max Admin account. So what I got here is Maximo 7609 feature packs and uh, Maximo Spatial 7603. So first of all, uh, I will need to go to the uh, Map Manager application. I will have to create a new uh, Map Manager. I will choose Spatial change the kilometer set up for side back for okay now I'm going to the service tab and uh, active open street map so I can uh, have the base map display yep it's working Now, first, in order to establish a connection to the uh, ArcGIS server, I will need to make sure that uh, the map server is running. So here in this case, I'm having a uh, sample map server from Arcis Online. As you can see here, I choose the uh, military map server. You can go back to the uh, service. to see many different map servers that you can use in this case I'm just choosing military because this one is pretty simple I only have a, a few layers and some objects and also it has some data that I want uh, for example here you can see it has some shapes and uh, I can see it has this object ID field and the shape field so that is something that I'm looking for. Now going back to my map manager, I'm going to use this address. What I have to do is have to create a new map service. Call it military. Then paste the uh, address to the uh, map server here. Set it order one save it yeah so try to select yeah you can see it can pull out all of the layers available from the map server here so that's good the next step for me is to choose one layer so normally we will have to display everything but I will do just one layer so I will choose uh, one layer here And with uh, Maximo Spatial 7.6, uh, we have the capability to automatically configure GIS object. So it will uh, pull out the uh, uh, all of the information from feature server. And then we we'll create all of the JSON mapping GIS object and domains for me. So all I have to do here is to define a GIS object name. In this case, I'm going to define an object mu OPS. Yeah. And I will set this one is uh, an asset. Then I choose execute GIS configuration. So basically what it does here, it will pull out all of the information that from the feature server. And then let me choose the attribute. I will click OK here. Then I will save it. So in order for this to work, then we have to ensure that the map server has an associated feature server. In order to do that, in this case, if I go back here, 
I can see that there is an equivalent feature server associated to this map server. But in the case you are provided with a address to a map server without knowing whether feature server is enabled, you can change the word map here to a feature. And if you can get something in return, then uh, feature server is, is enabled. If feature server is not enabled, then uh, you have to ask your GIS provider to enable it before you can use this uh, automatic creation uh, configuration functionality. Yep, so I got the configuration I need. Next, I'm going to have to set up a relationship to the add set object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, as I can see you before, we can see that with the uh, map, we have the object ID, so we can use that object ID here, so we can use this to reference the uh, GIS object. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new field to the uh, asset application. We'll go to the database configuration first. Open asset. Then add a new attribute. Set ID. I will call it CIS object ID to distinguish. Yep, maybe 15. Now I'm gonna apply the change. It's gonna take a bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head to the application designer. Oh, sorry. Application designer. And then open up the asset application so basically in order to link between the map server uh, the object in map server with an asset then we have to uh, set the asset feature class to the GIS object that I have created so in this case I will need to enable a hidden field which plus s e g i s yep i will uh, make this editable yep and set a lookup for it uh, class. yep so i can select the c i s object instead of having to type it down and i'm gonna add it the new field that i have Created as uh, object ID. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. Hopefully, by this time, DB configuration already completed. Yeah, right, so it's already completed. Uh, if I open the add set. Uh, something wrong here but ignore it uh, yeah so everything is set up yeah it's good right so what i'm gonna do i'm going to go back to the map manager record that i have created and then set up a relationship so what i'm going to do is to set up to relate the GIS object ID of the parent asset record with the object ID field of the GIS object. That's okay. Yep. That's it. And now all I have to do is click on enable map. Now uh, going back to our GIS service. Uh, I'm just want to get one of the object to test 
our configurator session to see if it works so basically what I can do is query the service okay I will open let's say military operation line which is a layer that I have set up then I choose query I will display everything I will display the object ID field that's it to JSON yep so I got one object here with this object ID so I will copy this object ID I'm gonna open one asset yep so I will just click any asset here just to demonstrate if it works or not so I'm gonna set the feature class and enable make sure that I flag this as a ZIS object and then paste the object ID here so in this case we have tell Maximo that this asset it belong to the layer military operation line layer and it is an ZIS object so it will be displayed on the map and this is the ID that link to the ZIS object so I will head to the map tab and I can see it is display on the map it is a bit slow so probably it doesn't display correctly here hopefully it will load soon How come we have military operation all over the world? Yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, perhaps the uh, open map service doesn't work correctly. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Actually, the uh, map is correct. It's just displaying a uh, different area in different parts of the world. But if I can zoom in here, I can see the location of the object that is linked to the asset object. Yep. So that's it. Thanks for watching.